He's the star of the hugely popular and longest-running cartoon on American TV. Now Homer Simpson's thoughts on life are forming, forming part of a university philosophy course. Dr. John Donaldson at Glasgow University has created a course which will examine the Springfield dad's quotes alongside great thinkers like Aristotle and Voltaire. We'll hear from the tutor in a moment, but first some words of wisdom from the man himself. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. So Homer's thoughts on alcohol there, can he be classed as a philosopher, do you think? I think so. I think every person can be classed as a philosopher. I think philosophizing is a natural human capacity and I think there's lots of examples of Homer philosophizing in The Simpsons. So where did you get the idea from then to base a, a, a course of philosophy on Homer's you know, words of wisdom? Well, the, the course isn't really based on Homer's words of wisdom, but I think there's lots of philosophy in The Simpsons. And I think if you watch The Simpsons, you see in almost every episode some philosophical idea touched upon. So I think it's quite hard to watch The Simpsons without having philosophical ideas introduced to you. And as a professional philosopher, watching The Simpsons is just especially obvious. So what sort of ideas do they explore in the, in the series then? Well, here's one example from very early in The Simpsons, just in the, the second episode of the very first season called... Um, uh, Bart the genius. Bart steals the class test of Martin, who's, who's a, a sort of genius kid. And so they think Bart's a genius. And they send him to a school for gifted children. And at that school, of course, Bart struggles because Bart isn't really a gifted child uh, in the way that people think he is. And one of the first ways in which he struggles is as a class discussion at that school about free will and whether people really have free will in the way that we, we think we do. And so that's one example of of a philosophical idea presented quite boldly, I think, in The Simpsons. So what is the course then? What, what's involved? So the course is, is a general introduction for uh, members of the public to philosophy. It's a bit of a pick and mix. It tries to give an overview of a wide range of areas of philosophy. So for example, we look at moral philosophy in the course. We look at political philosophy in the course. We look at metaphysics and the issue of free will, as I say, and we also at the end of the course, we try to address what's probably the most famous philosophical question of all, which is, uh, what's the meaning of life? So just the little questions then, John. Just the small <laughs> questions. Yeah, you don't get small <laughs> questions in philosophy. So is it a way of, of trying to get philosophy to appeal to people that may not otherwise be interested in it? Well, yes. I think it's trying to make philosophy a bit more accessible than it might otherwise appear, and also just to get people to notice philosophy a bit more. Philosophy these days is kind of hidden away in universities for the most part. You don't get it in school. It's not obviously presented in most aspects of everyday life. So, yeah, it's just trying to get people to notice it more and maybe be a bit, be a bit more attracted to it than they otherwise would be, I think. Yeah. And it has struck a chord, obviously, because there's been a massive response, hasn't there? Very recently, yes. The course has been running for a while, but this year it's suddenly taken off uh, massively for the first time. It went viral on social media. There has been a huge amount of press interest from people like yourselves and there have been articles as far afield as China. So with or without Homer Simpson, um, why should we study philosophy? Why is it important, do you think? I think philosophy is a subject which is as central to a person's education as English or, or mathematics. And it's a real travesty that it's not taught in schools in that way. Philosophy gives you two main things. And the first thing that philosophy gives you is the ability to reason and think clearly about any subject matter. And the second thing that philosophy gives you is an understanding of how everything in the most general sense of that term hangs together in the most general sense of that term. And so it gives you a real overview of life and all that's in it. Well, it sounds like a, a brilliant idea. Good luck with the course and thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you.